How's it going guys? Back with another uh, garage sale, estate sale finds video. I'm shooting this with uh, a new iPhone 13. Uh, messing around with it, it does have some uh, editing, uh, video editing tools in it. So uh, from here on out, I'm gonna try and do some uh, screenshots of like eBay completed and add it, add it to uh, my videos. So this is uh, stuff I picked up last couple weeks. Uh, Stuff I'm going to focus on on this video are uh, some watches, some gold, and some uh, Redline Hot Wheels. I uh, found this at uh, went to uh, a church sale and they had a, a bin of uh, die cast cars and looked in the bin and I saw this one right off the top. Uh, obviously, it stands out because of the uh, the color. Uh, they call this uh, anti antifreeze green. Uh, 19, I think it's 69. It's an Eldorado. Made in USA, uh, Redline Hot Wheels. Uh, very nice condition uh, with the paint. And every all the cars in the bin were 50 cents a piece. So an amazing deal. Just uh, have an uh, Ertl Bigfoot uh, truck right there. And then have uh, the Redline uh, Volkswagen custom Volkswagen. Uh, the tires, uh, the uh, axles on these are bent, but you can actually buy a tool that will help straighten these out. So uh, this one also has some pretty nice paint on it. So again, $1.50 for those three. I think this car alone, like I said, I'll do a screenshot, uh, probably around $50, $60 maybe on that, just because the paint is so nice. I uh, went to a flea market over the July 4th weekend and didn't have very good uh, internet service. Uh, so I really couldn't look up the values on things very well. Uh, There's a dealer that had probably 10 or so uh, Redline Hot Wheels and I picked out the best two. Uh, this one right away I knew was a, a good one because I had this exact same car in the past. It's a called a super fine turbine and this one also, the paint is very nice on this. So a very rare car. And I had one just like this, like I said in the past, it sold for over 300. So I'll do a screenshot of what the what this should sell for. And then have this uh, Gremlin Redline Hot Wheel, also in a really nice shape. I've had this listed, uh, I paid $20 per car. Uh, this one I've had listed for a couple weeks and had a couple offers, uh, low ball offers. I'm asking $70 or best offer. I'd probably take around 60 for it. Uh, so that's still listed on eBay. I'm not in too much of a rush to sell that just cause it's like uh, near mint. So the rest of this stuff is gonna be uh, jewelry uh, and watches. Uh, this came uh, from a Craigslist ad. Uh, they advertise vintage watches. I got there probably 45 minutes early and I was hoping for a little bit better watches than what they had and they they looked up the values on the stuff so it wasn't I should say cheap uh, and these were the best watches they had they had some other uh, pocket watches were the cheap cheaper kind um, bullseye and uh, those such brands that aren't really high quality um, but I ended up paying uh, $50 for the three watches and then the little box. I've had this uh, Bulova in the past. I thought for sure it was gonna be uh, 14 karat gold, uh, white gold. I've had a couple of these and they've all been uh, 14 karat gold, but this, this one is just uh, gold filled. Uh, both the Bulovas do not work, so those are just for parts and repair. Uh, the best one of the group does work, this Hamilton. So, uh, Hamilton watches are pretty collectible. Uh, I should, this should bring probably 60 to $80 for this. So not a ton of money to be made on the deal, but like I said, I love uh, picking up vintage, wa vintage watches when I can. And then um, the jewelry, I spent $4 on the bags and the little box of jewelry. See $2 uh, had all this stuff in it and uh, some silver, sterling silver chains I have to uh, untangle and then this was in 
the group a little uh, 14 karat gold uh, bracelet. It's marked a 14 karat gold. Not uh, a lot of weight there, probably $50 in gold, but I only paid $2 for the whole bag. And then the best deal uh, of that group was this little box. It was $2 also. Uh, had these little pins. So like National Honor Society, uh, stuff like that. These little pins that were uh, given away in high school. So these are just uh, gold filled, this group right here. Uh, but this stuff in the box is actually gold. So I have this uh, Delta Gamma pin. It's not marked, but it did test uh, for uh, 10 karat gold. So that one was in there. And then T these two uh, pins were actually marked gold. So I have a glare. Uh, like a 25 year anniversary service. Uh, that one's marked uh, 14 karat gold. And this uh, monogrammed little pin with an S with some pearls on it. And I can't recall if that's uh, 10 or 14 karat gold. And then a really cool piece here, some little flight wings. And this also tested uh, at least 10 karat gold. And I believe that is pre-World War II. So naval aviator uh, pilot wings. And like I said, I, I uh, scratch tested twice and it came back uh, at least 10 karat gold. So an outstanding find there, that group. Uh, like I said, all that stuff was only $2. And then I uh, found this at a church sale. I uh, usually don't find uh, stuff like this at church sales anymore. Uh, it's pretty uncommon. Uh, but found a uh, 19, early 1950s uh, Hamilton wristwatch. It is running. And in the back, it's engraved. Floyd Logan. Looks like he worked at the Journal Gazette newspaper in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Dated 1951. So these are the uh, pickups last couple weeks. Uh, like I said, focused on uh, jewelry, watches, and some Redline Hot Wheels. want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.